for high share you will go to the page number 70 condition for low share and high share is v max okay that is the maximum shear force should be less than the 0.6 times of the design shear force okay shear strength so for the case of high shear the procedure will be the same i am taking the same example of the previous video that i have made on the uh, low shear case so you will find the effective length you will find the total load imposed on it uh, calculation of maximum bending moment and maximum shear force calculation of the section modulus okay uh, section modulus and selection of the section will be done in the same manner you can see here uh, the high shear case may occur due to the point load application okay if, in, in this case if i provide a point load okay then we have to calculate the maximum bending moment with respect to the udl and point load so the value of md will be increased similarly shear force will increase with the increase of shear force uh, with this section modulus uh, and we will find the section classification and here's shear capacity okay you will follow the same step that is effective length total load uh, calculation of maximum bending moment and shear force calculation of the section modulus selection of the section data of that uh, section we, which you have considered will be the same section classification based on the outstanding flange width and the depth of the wave will be the same up to step 5 it will be same now in case of step 7 okay in case of step 6 we will find this shear force okay shear force what will happen is that this value okay 0 0.6 times this shear strength or shear capacity of this section will be less than that of the shear force calculator for example if it is 400 suppose if i find it to be 400 kilonewton due to some point load then the case will not be satisfied here that is 333.02 will not be greater than that of 400 that is design strength shear capacity is less than maximum shear capacity that the section can face so it will be a high shear case now the calculation of design bending strength will be different that is we have to go to page number 70 and we will follow the steps what i suggest you to is uh, you copy this all data okay and uh, make sure you put the value of shear capacity v as 400 so for high shear V is equal to 400 kilonewton. VD, that is design shear capacity, is 555.04 kilonewton, and 0 0.6 VD is equal to 333 kilonewton. Okay, this is the condition. Now, with this data, you have to follow the next step with respect to page number 70. Okay so go to page number 70 for plastic section mdv okay that is design moment capacity okay under high shear force is calculated as md minus beta md minus mfd which should be less than or equal to 1.2 ze fy gamma m naught so these are the term here beta md v vd mfd ZE so beta MD minus M FD I'm writing the formula from the code okay so you don't have to remember it ZE FY gamma M naught so here beta is equal to okay I have to find all this value so beta is equal to two times of the maximum shear that uh, shear force acting on the section by design strength shear strength minus one square so substitute the value of v and vd you will get the value of beta so here uh, 2 v we have 400 so 2 into 400 divided by vd that is 555.04 minus 1 square so we get the value as 0 0.194 The another thing we don't know here is MD and MFD. So what is MD? MD is the plastic design moment of the whole section. This regarding high shear force effect. 
so if this is the I section as we know the shear area will be flange uh, this wave area okay MD is the section uh, moment okay plastic design moment of the section considering the okay disregarding the uh, the wave area that is high shear area so MD will be calculated as uh, we know the formula from code also beta b m f y z p gamma m naught so we know the value of z p for this section as we have already uh, noted it down here okay z p is equal to 1533.6 so substitute the value beta b is 1 for plastic section 1 into 1533.6 into 250 into 10 to the power uh, it is in centimeter so it has to be converted into millimeter 1.1 you will get value as 348.49 kilonewton meter similarly mfd so for mfd you have to consider our thing okay mfd is the plastic design strength of the area of the cross section excluding the excluding the shear area okay so you have to exclude the shear area for which uh, we have to find zfd okay why zfd because for calculation of mfd you will need the value zfd and plastic modulus if we define plastic modulus is the summation of areas under the compression and multiplied by the distance of each area to the centroid of compression i will go through the definition also zfd what it says is you have to subtract the area okay so the very first thing zp of the whole section minus the shear area shear area if we see here is the flange okay sorry is the wave so the length of the I will consider the section from the neutral axis okay and multiply by 2 then we will get the whole area so so 2 times of this it is 450 so it will be 225 okay it is 225 multiply by the thickness of the wave that is 9.4 multiply by the centroidal distance 225 by 2 for this area the centroidal distance will be 225 by 2 zp we know that is 1533.6 then we get the value as 1057.485 centimeter cube this is the value of zfd now substitute this value in z uh, in this equation mfd we will get 1 multiplied by 250 1057.48 into 10 to the power 3 to convert into millimeter 1.1 then we get as this value 240.33 kilonewton meter now putting the value here okay we have mfd beta md so should be less than 1.2 ze we have calculated the uh, we have find the value of ze from the table so 1530 into 10 to the power 3 multiply by 250 by 1.1 we get this value as 327.43 kilonewton meter and this is 368 one eight kilonewton meter okay and this value okay mdv is equal to this is design value should be greater than the value or the magnitude that will act on the section 334 here if we see uh, 334.76 so this condition is not satisfied that means the design or the section selection is not suitable okay just i wanted to make sure to provide the method how to calculate for the shear high shear case okay now you have to go through this different section uh, you will choose a different section so that you will uh, you can overcome this design strength value okay i hope you have understood the major 
concept of this video should be that how to tackle with the high shear case and how, what has to be calculated and how to determine the design value and after this the design procedure is same as the previous video that is we have to calculate for the deflection check web crippling and buckling check okay